We're live. I say we live. I don't believe them now. It says, but you know, no, YouTube live. Not. Oh, I have I to do. say that Daniel said, I'll be mowing when you go live, but popped in to give you thumbs up. Thank you, Daniel. If you're Thanks, listening Daniel. while you're mowing. Hey, fly girl. What's up? How are you? Hey, fly girl. Thanks for coming in this morning, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. And Daniel, too. He's so sweet. He did a, I was so excited uh, to hear. I can't wait to see all of his stuff. He's so funny. Oh my God. Yesterday. Yeah, that's going to be good. So he happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Let me just say that I see Dolores' face every, well, we've really been slacking off. Hey, Christy girl. We've hey, really Christy. been slacking off because we actually don't talk every day anymore because both of us are super busy now. Yeah rude talk mostly every day well sometimes look at i can talk to you from tuesday to friday oh yeah that was the code that was work i mean so people expect us to go to work and do stuff yeah that was a rough week for me not even rough it was just like woo everything's yeah. like happening yeah well let me just say i told dolores this is what y'all get today this is clean i'm clean uh, i just uh, <laughs> no makeup i just took a shower washed my hair uh yeah i might even do some record some pauls today and it's it's squeaky clean sunday i don't know what to tell y'all um yeah it's a beautiful day here in texas dolores but you would say that it's hot what's the temperature um i don't know well, if you can't, Christy, what's the temperature in in Sugar Land? Well, you're not you in just, Sugar Land. You just can't rattle it off. It's too hot. Let me see. Seventy-seven. Oh no, that's all right. That's all right. Girl, it was seventy-eight, and you were it like, was right. eighty-four. It was eighty-four. It was eighty-four, and, that, and I was like, oh, absolutely not. This BS. No. Mm mm. I know I'm already like thinking because you said okay 54 doesn't seem cool which is our average temp that time of year but it's not cool to me but it is cool to you so bring you know don't wear like shorts like you're leaving at um, Houston <laughs> yeah no I mean here's the thing it to me it won't feel cold but to people who live in the depths of hell of texas weather it will feel cold yeah it'll be like a chilly chilly go to school morning that it then turns around yeah. and it's 90 degrees by one o'clock yeah that's like when you CBS, first get up yeah if cbs calls me one more time and tells me my prescription is ready i didn't ask for a prescription so i don't have a prescription <laughs> go find out what it is <laughs> I need it. Uh, will it help me fly? But you know what? Okay, so Dolores, I looked at it last night. When I went to Israel, it was like mm -hmm. 14 and a half, 14, 45, 14 hours and 45 minutes. And then y'all, to get to you, is only like 10 hours. You can do that on our head. But most yes. of the flights leave at night. So I would just yes, sleep. So I'll be waiting. Yeah. It's usually an yeah. overnight flight. Yeah. yeah, that's what I want. I'm like, Get on the plane, take some yeah, Benadryl. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> Wake me up when you're serving breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Do they serve breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most of them. You know, I'll be night. back in snacks. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You, 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 I don't you know, Christy. I have no idea. Uh, my, my next quarter mile, as a friend of mine says, he lives his life in quarter miles. Uh, he said, my next quarter mile is getting, um, getting done with school. And then it is going to see Dolo. Bree G. Hey, hey uh, Bree. How are you? I'm, I need to practice girl. walking. For us, <clears throat> yeah, we walk a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah, um, school program and donating. Which oh, school program? you need to contact Beth. I'm in the UK. <laughs> oh, you're talking about uh, lunches of love. So love, yeah, yeah. So lunches, and if you go in the description, fly girl, it is there's a direct link. 
it's www.lunchesoflove.net. Okay. And there's a direct link in there. Yeah. And one of it says ways to donate. Yeah. She just dropped it here, but it's also in the um, description. You can, should be able to just copy, uh, copy and paste that into the web browser or just click on it. Um, I think I did it where you could click on it like an active one. Uh, but then there's ways to donate to that as well. So since we're talking about lunches of love, Dolores, it's right. your turn. Okay. Yes, thank you. Today, Beth is going to do a haul of uh, a bunch of jewelry, and um, we're going to uh, show it and haul it and price it. And if you are interested in any of those pieces, you can purchase them today. That money will go to benefit Lunches of Love, and um, you know it's a program at Fort Bend County that helps uh, children who are you know who who have school lunches. Uh, at school, but aren't able to get them outside of school days, like you know, holidays, summer vacation, Christmas, all of summer, all of summer. So they're missing out. So this organization provides them with a lunch every day re during the holidays, which is good because you know it's it's a real issue, and yeah. it shouldn't be not not in 2024. It should not be an issue that children can't get food, and, and it's definitely not a kid problem. It's not a kid problem. It's not. And it's not their problem. It's they just need to eat. So it is a great organization. Yeah. Um, they just did their they just did their like big fundraiser, which is their walk. It's the walk of love. Yeah. Um, and it's really big. I couldn't go to that one. Um, so what I've been doing is just doing the jewelry long and long. Um, because I'm, it is super hard to get up with any of their board members or anything because they're always busy um as to like come on alive with me so i mean we'll see I, i'm still not opposed to doing a all lunches of love jewelry sale like a big sale um hello LaDonna. LaDonna. LaDonna, thank you so much for all that information you gave me um ladonna commented on my video on tuesday and she gave me like so much information so thank you so much LaDonna. that that's going to help me a lot. At least give me a direction to go to, especially when things mm. aren't marked. Um, so yeah. she's a lot good, of yeah. knowledge. So Dolores, what's been going on with you? Uh, work. Ugh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, you know, the weather's been kind of crappy. Today it didn't rain for once. And um, <clears throat> Uh, the car boots that I love going to, they have been postponed week after week because even if it doesn't rain for a few days, the, the ground is so saturated that they're usually a big open fields. Ain't nobody driving a car in an open field gets stuck. I call AA now, come out here and get me. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I only spent five pounds that costed me 110 to get towed home. <laughs> oh, Lord, girl, no. Well, 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 no, I have the AA, they would tow me home, but still, um, which is the automobile association here. Uh, Y'all call it AAA. Yeah. Right. They call it AA. But um, I know that's something. AA here but, is Alcoholics yeah, Anonymous. Okay. No, we, we, it's AA here. And so, yeah, it's been a bit. Um, I've been kind of waiting for them to open. I'm a little sad that they're not open. But they'll, they'll open. They'll, they'll, they'll be open. They better be open by June. That's all I know. Yeah. That, well, that's the thing I was telling you. June is usually a non rainy month, of, 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 in, you know. Mostly, <laughs> I'm still Mostly. bringing my willies or what do you call them? Snickers wellies, or... wellies, knickers are your panties. Um, wellies Man. are your shoes. You can bring those too, though. Please. Look, that um, might take up too much space in this. Yeah, I hate it. go commando, whatever. Um, I need the space. Yeah, your, your, your wellies are your uh waterproof boots, yeah, or your rubber boots or whatever y'all call them. Rain yeah. boots. I think I'm just looking for a reason to buy some because every time I go to work, you know, you have to help with like kids getting out of the car and stuff. And my shoes always get wet. So I'm like, oh, I need them since I'm going to the UK. I, I need them in the drought season. <laughs> the drought season. I better not hear one word about someone talking about drought here. I will, I will neck them. I will neck them. Because mm -hmm. it's raining that much. Ain't nobody's drought happening. Please stop. Thank you. You're gonna be luscious and green, though. <clears throat> yeah, that is the thing. It does rain a lot, but when it's when it's sunshine, 
it does look beautiful when you fly over. It's all very green. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Um, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Uh, she's still doing vintage news hour, y'all. You just had one Friday, right? Yeah, that was a fun one. It was about hat pins. <laughs> and did you, are y'all still doing double D or is that on hold with yeah, all the music? No, no we're, no, we're still doing double D. Yeah. Okay. We do it this week, this Friday, it's double D on Daniel's channel. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. Can't wait to see. I try to um, tune in at work, but you know, they literally. Oh, work. Yeah. You're at work. I, I get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like I was sitting here trying to watch Double D or the Vintage News Hour, and in comes a kid with a bloody nose. I'm like, really? I'm been. <laughs> so now Jamie I starts. What I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> Jamie starts watching. She'll message me. Sorry, I had to leave. I was at work. I'm like, where well, your work? I mean, you know. <laughs> I know, but it's rude that they actually want me to participate in this paycheck thing. But my when it's my time, it's like when we do Double D. That's 8 p.m. my time. So you know. yeah, that's late. Uh, and, yeah. Well, Dolores and I have an event coming up at the end of this month. We're having a live tea party. because you know, we usually do something around Mother's Day. Um, and we're all about the tea, cups and saucers, all the things. But we're doing it a little bit different. We're having a live tea party on the 28th, which is a Sunday. Um, mm -hmm. And she and I are going to kick it off the same time right here on my channel. Um, and then we're going to have for from like 12 to 1. Well, it's 1 to 2 Eastern. 1 to 2 Eastern, we've got some fun guests coming on, two guests. And then yeah. from 2 to 3, we have two more um, super cool guests. So I'm mm. super excited about that. Y'all look for the um, promos on that. But we're also both in Patrick's upcoming uh, drop sale hop. Which I gotta record my video. Have you recorded your video? Mm -hmm. I did today. I put on all these. All I have to do is edit it now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm always behind. I'm always the one that's like, since I organize, you know, every other month, I'm always like, get your videos done, and I'm literally the last one. That's, well, that's the thing. You, you, if you, sometimes you do it, and if you wait till last minute, it won't upload. Like for whatever reason, Saad's law, you can't get to upload. YouTube so decided to, to have a temper tantrum and will not mm -hmm. upload your video. One time I had yeah. to delete it and retry four times. Yeah. I was oh, literally yeah, about yeah. to cry. Yeah. So well, right yeah. now I've got to, yesterday, I, they've got some videos coming up, y'all, because yesterday I went to the St. Teresa's Church Bazaar garage mm -hmm. sale. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to record the haul. I've got the shop with me, but I did do the haul. And then I went to an estate sale warehouse clearance clean out kind of thing um cool. i recorded the shop along but didn't record the hall and then i went to the shop so now i gotta just pray that everything is gonna fit in my phone um and i gotta get all of those things done and out of my phone before i can record my drop sale so drop i gotta sale. Get, yeah it's gotta be like it's i got it's, it's a lot it's a lot of stuff to have to do and work full time Oh, yeah, don't forget, I gotta be at work at seven thirty in the morning. So if y'all see this outfit this tomorrow look, yeah. for a couple of weeks, shh, be quiet. Yeah, that's <laughs> Pretend you forgot. <laughs> so okay, so we do have some jewelry. We haven't done this in a long time. I feel no, like we, we haven't. Uh -uh. A really long time. Whoops, that's funny. Not even in March. No, March. No, we February. February. <clears throat> yeah. It's like the end of February. Oh, girl, we're behind times. All right. So, <laughs> and do you know how much jewelry I still have left in this bucket? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. I even lot. made like eight of these with like 20 something pieces in it. Hey, Heidi, how are you? Hi, Heidi. Um, I have, they're like 20 something or 25 pieces in it. There's already eight buckets over there, not to mention what's still left in the container. Yeah. So, we got jewelry, y'all. All right. I'm just going to dig in. D Dolores, I'm going to start with this one because I showed you a picture of this and asked you about it this morning. What you think it might be. Um, so, again, if you're just joining us. Oh, I'm big. Eh? Um, <laughs> if you're just joining us or if you're watching mm. in the background, thank you so much for being here. My guest, if you do not know her, she's not really my guest. She has rights to my channel. She can just come on anytime <laughs> she wants. So she kind of owns the joint. Um, my producer, <laughs> she's going to go live on my channel one day. I won't even be here. Um, but 
<laughs> she is Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry. So make sure to subscribe to her channel. We're trying to get her to a thousand, y'all. There's no reason that she should not be at a thousand already. So spread the word, um, share her channel, um, subscribe, create another account. I don't know, but we need to get her to a thousand. She has uh, shop alongs in the UK. She's in the UK um, and uh, she does hauls and all the stuff. So mm -hmm. don't forget about it. All right. So I know this is 27 inches and it does. It's just one. I call it infinity, but it means that it doesn't have a class. So let me show you that. I think I don't even know if it's going to show with the daylight out there. Ooh. I think this is like a rainbow hematite. Yeah, it looks like because it. it's metal. It's not glass. I think it's metal or if it's not that dolores then it might be what they call a carnival glass bead they oh well, i know they call it uh is it peacock they call it because yeah, those are look. the only two things that i saw peacock but it's 27 bead. inches sorry what do they call it i think they call it peacock beads is that what that is because yeah. i saw a rainbow no. hematite and something else uh but it's nope. the glass bead spacers in between oh it's um is it iris what these let me look i'm just looking hang on yeah but i thought That's these like a, were metal they're a little like an iris that? coated so you have like pink blue uh purple iris coated i mean you know I mean, they could be. I, I'm, they remind me of the iris beads, but okay. So we got. Let's call them iris bead. Is it a peacock iris bead or just iris? No, bead? it's just iris iris bead. And they're like you know. So you get the iris blues, the iris purple, iris green. Um, they're glass. They should, okay, I think they should be glass. Usually, and I, I mean, I. I just don't know. I, they might be glass. Let's have them they, find what, well, if they oil slick beads, Tammy, um, Kathy said, should, I don't have a magnet, but if they were hematite, would they stick? No. Yeah, they would. They should, shouldn't they be like magnetic if they're hematite? I was going to say if they're hematite, would they be magnetic? Let me look. <laughs> um, They have some weight, but not a lot. They have some weight, but not a lot of that. I just think it's really cool. Um, oil slick, maybe. Well, it's a little bit more vibrant than oil slick, the ones that I've at least seen. Uh, but they've got some beautiful colors in that. I just think it's so pretty. And there is... Um, yeah, they do have a small amount of natural magnetism. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> People are drawn to me. Unfortunately, some of them stick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Fly Girl. The, uh, only only a certain part of Scotland saw it. We didn't see it here. All right. So for 27 inches, I'm going to say. Um, what would you what do you think we should price this at? Sorry, I'm glad so it's got no it's got no class. It's just all one strand. Okay. Okay, I'd I'd say about uh twelve to fourteen. Okay, we're gonna well we're always gonna go on the low end, y'all, because we have a lot of jewelry and um we need to not only move the jewelry um I think they are glass if they are not heavy. Okay, I hear you. Hey, hey Miss Nancy, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, this one is pretty simple. This one is a 26 inch. These are all acrylic bead and it has a uh, C clasp, O ring, whatever you call it. it. Um, and it's got some of your favorite fall like colors. I love those color combinations. Those are cool. I don't know how you do, but it, what's really cool is all the different color striations that you can see in the acrylic. The purple uh -huh. one is really good so yeah. these this is more like a clear bead with purple swirls i don't know if it's going to come oh. across 
Um, but this is just a, this is just all acrylic, but I love the colors in this. Yeah, it's a pretty cool color combination. Colors of this, and that's 26 inch acrylic bead multi um multi bead necklace. So what do you think about that? I'd say eight to ten. Okay, we're gonna do eight on that one. Ooh, we're cooking with Crisco today. We're focused mm. so far. <laughs> All right. So now this is a big chunker. This is a 37 inch silver tone with black acrylic various beads. And I do not see a clasp on it. So this is the back side, but then you have then you have some hammered silver with just some black acrylic beads. Wow. You have like this cage with the mm -hmm. rhinestones. And then you have there's some spacers. So it's just funkadelic. Well, pretty that's cool. what I, but to me, it's a very 80s style necklace. Yeah. Very monochrome. Very that. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, these are all acrylic. But look at that. It's very, it's very, to me, that's the stuff that I, love it, I yeah. threw on when I was on in the 80s, girl, when black was my signature color. Yeah, I'd say 8 to 10 on that. Yeah, it's long. It's a long one. But it would be pretty with like a, a you know, silver earrings and um, a, like a black dress or something. All right. We're going to put eight on that one. And everybody doing okay? I, I feel like I haven't seen Heidi and Nancy and Kathy in a long yeah. time. Yeah, I, I think I, especially the hammered silver, Kathy, I know I've had a piece like that before. Um, and sometimes if I come across it, I'll put them. If I think I've seen it, I'll put it to the side. And when I come across it again, I make um, I make sets out of it. All right. Um, let's see. This one. All right. This is, I think, glass. So all the little beads are glass. Hold on. Yeah, that's glass. <laughs> oh, the black beads. I don't think my mom's watching. We're fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. The beads, um, I may have because I yeah. so much, girl. Okay, so this is 17 inch. It's ruby red bead necklaces, but it's got these really big glass beads, and I just tapped them, so they're glass. But they're like faceted, and they Ooh, you're not going to cool. be able to see, but they do have a little bit of striation color in there. This necklace yeah. has weight. It's all glass, then it's heavy. Yeah, it's but but look at it how pretty it is. But these are I wish you could see it. It's kind of like oil slick, um, free elementary school germs. It's okay. I just bathed. It's fine. I'm all clean now. But this one is it's this got a little bit of sheen to it, but in the light, I mean, even if you were wearing it, you wouldn't be able to tell, but I can tell. That's why I didn't know if maybe they were stoned. Yeah, I started to say, quite heavy, it might be. So, I don't know if you can see that. Because we've got, I've got the natural daylight. Yeah, let me see. I'm waiting for it to come up on here. Okay, yeah, it's got like different striations in it. it yeah, might be so, natural. I don't know, I'm calling it uh, glass. And I, I mean, mm -hmm. it could be. See that stri that white striation in there? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say, but that's a heavy necklace. Well, for me, that's a heavy necklace. Yeah, I'd say sixteen. What is it? Sixteen. Okay. All right. They look like buckeyes. Yeah, except they are. Uh, yeah, they're heavy. <clears throat> All right. Here is a bracelet. Here is a bracelet. Now this one is cu is cute. It's a one and a half inch wide silver tone metal expandable bracelet with the flowers and the rhinestones. Ooh, Isn't that yeah, pretty. It's, it's pretty actually. It really is. It's got the little flowers and then all of the rhinestones on there, and I like it because it is expandable. But you can see that yep. it's got the flowers. And they're in the little um, panels. 
you get the little panel there there are panels but i think that's really cute so it's not very heavy but it's it's very springy yes i'd say uh seven did you hear her i was gonna say don't say six <laughs> no no Come here. better than wonder woman you got that right girl okay this one um hetty if you don't know where i got all this jewelry my friend hetty um was a reseller and um she is no longer going to be a reseller but uh she gifted me this jewelry to sell um before she was and because she was going to take it and drop it at goodwill and no you will not <laughs> ma'am okay no so she did, she did some work on this one and sometimes she did she may have mm -hmm. already listed it or something because she gives a little um she already did the comping and everything. So this is a silver tone vintage metal bolo. So it's a bolo necklace. Oh yeah. And then it's got a saddle, which is perfect for Texas or any other Western wear, but mm -hmm. um, it's got a little gemstone right there. And you can see that it's got the rhinestones and that moves. That piece moves, this piece moves, and you can see that it's a little metal bolo. And she said that she looked that one up and um, she would, and it's got really great ornate detail right here That's in pretty. the um, part where you put your foot, um, stir up part of it. It's got a lot of great detail. And it's even got the little place where you hold on um it she said she would mark that at 15. so this one yeah, is the bolo uh, the metal bolo one is going to be 15. so who is it chica or lola oh keeps lola i'm coming to see you lola i'm coming to see you she keeps jumping she's up like she's pick, pick her up and then she's like no i'm like oh. she's gonna be like if you ain't got treats don't you don't even need to come through the door yeah. her and momo yeah. Mm -hmm. Momo's gonna be like, "Hey, are there treats in that bag?" If the part where you put your foot, I know. Your foot. <laughs> Girl, I'm I'm off. Don't think on Sundays or after five. There you go. All right. So I got a. See, this is my style of necklace because it's super thin. Uh, twenty. And uh -huh. which the sad part, Kathy, is I was in equestrian classes and <laughs> was around horses forever. Eh, road horses my ex-husband and them have a ranch we were eh, whatever so i've got a 20 inch gold tone light little chain and then it's got this faux like arrowhead um, arrow arrow head. Head. yeah faux little arrowhead on there that's cool it's like almost it now it's um a piece that's got the gold foil on it the gold mm -hmm. what do you call that is it gold the gold foil yeah, yeah. But it's like an arrowhead, but I like it because it's on this miniature mm -hmm. or not miniature. God, Lord have mercy. Um, the thin chain, because I like a thin chain, but I thought yeah, that was really right. pretty. So that's a simple one. What do I'd you think say, about that, Doris? I'd say 12. Okay. okay. We'll do 12. Okay. On that. All right. Yeah, Kathy, it's grew up in the deep south and then uh when i married uh they all have ranches and broke horses and rehabbed horses and they still got a ton of horses so horses are fickle little but they also had a donkey my favorite gerardo okay this one is super heavy you talk about clutch your pearls girl um this one looks like it's on memory wire dolores and it's 18 inch with 22 inch it's the large faux pearl like glass beads this has got a bunch of weight um yeah, this glass bunch of weight. probably gonna be on tiger's tail not memory wire uh, well whatever that is tiger's tail yeah okay tiger's tail that's what they call it it's look what clutch it is. Your it's pearls, a girl clutch your girl. pearl Tiger's tail is a steel wire coated with nylon, so it doesn't snap. Oh, well, it would have to be because this is 
This is probably at least a pound. God, can you imagine? Stomping well, around. you know Bush. who was that? Um, which one of those ladies? Bush, Miss Bush. Oh, Miss Bush. I mean, Bush, hers yeah. were real. Look at that, Barbara Bush. Beautiful. Look how beautiful. Mm. Clutch your pearls, girl. Mm. Uh, eighteen inches with an extension to twenty-two. I love a good pearl look necklace. So, what do you think about that one? Yeah, Wilma. She said, "Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Justin CP. Mm -mm. Um, CP, that's me. You know Justin? Oh, you know Justin? I don't think so. I know, I know a Justin. I'm not the same one. Beaver. That's all I got. Cassidy's <laughs> husband's name is Justin. You met Justin? What are we? What are we putting on the Wilma necklace? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'd say twelve to fourteen. No, I don't know. Tell me who Justin is, fly girl. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show you these just to get them out of the box. But um, you know that we got a whole bunch of watches. And I'm mm -hmm. not going to take the time to sit there and see if they work. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I did it. But I am oh, like this one. Here's a perfect example. It, I would take this one, take it out, and this. Oh, true crime. Crime. Oh, uh, we should know. And that. I would take this one and put in my little container that I have, where I'm making a, a whole collection of watch faces. Um, but uh, who was it that said just put lot them on eBay? Well, I don't do eBay, um, and then they will do something with them, but. Um, if I have, if I can get it off, like some of these, I might be able to take the pin off and use it. But other than that, I cannot use that. But this one, this one is actually marked on the back. Oh, this one's Ann Klein. <laughs> There's the mark for Ann Klein right there on uh, this watch. So, I mean, we might look it up, but it's just, mm. it was on this. Why was it on that? I mean, Ann Klein oh, might be on nice Quite a nice face. Do do a little bit better, Incline. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the sport watches. You know. That's sporty though. Yeah. See? Uh-huh. Uh. Um, let me see. Then oh, I really liked this one. I really, really like this one. <clears throat> so if you're joining us now, thank you for coming in. We are showing some um jewelry from a gifted jewelry lot that um i have received and um we've been going through it for oh i don't know dolores how long now years a couple, years. <laughs> couple years. years and we're still not even close all right i really like this one okay i, I just messed that one up but it's very moroccan look at that oh it is pretty cool. so pretty. So it's got blue and peridot colored, um, like a, a light sapphire color. But look at those, the uh, little beads here. Metal. Yeah, they metal. Yeah. Yeah, they're metal. So it's three three strands of that. Look how oh, pretty that. that's. That's pretty. And you see the detail in the gold bead, and then it has the um, blue. This is like a, almost like a sapphire, but not as, not as deep. Hi, Angela, and then like a peridot color. Is right are the here. are the glass are the beads glass or acrylic? Acrylic. <laughs> You're welcome. I risk my life for you people. Okay. But isn't that pretty? I that say, is so yeah. pretty. I said about and it is 20 to 23 inches gold tone Moroccan style three layered necklace with the, oh, it's not glass beads. I wrote glass. These are acrylic because it, it would be too, hell, it, it, too heavy. Hella heavy. Well, I mean, no, I don't think the metal beads are that heavy because they're, they're filigree. No, but if these were all glass, if these oh. were glass. Because it, it has a little bit of weight, but not too much. Okay. Just so, so I just think that is so pretty. I think I, I say, got it. Uh, 14, 12 to 14. That's 
pretty. She's all on right. break, Angela. She's on break. Angela, break. you're on break. Your break time. That's why they can't give me a break, because not sure I would come back. Back, yeah. <laughs> Just keep working, girl. Like I even I even eat at my desk. Well, if it's if there's nobody in the clinic. Although I have been known to eat while well, somebody's nose is being plugged. So <laughs> Oh, right. All right. <laughs> okay, so here's some little cute art glass earrings. Look at those. Oh, those are cute. Like those, those are cute. So these are little art class, art glass. These are glass. A little dangle earrings. They're about one and three quarter inches long. Um, can't remember what we did with earrings that were glass. Like six to eight? Yeah, six to eight. Yeah. Okay. Cute. Going with the lower number. Yeah. Don't say that loud. You're conscious. Yeah, no, right. Geneva. She'll Don't come. To Geneva. As soon as you say okay, the this six. one is a set. I don't think it's an, a, a big expensive set. It's just a set. Um, so you've got the basic. Oh, Lord. Uh, my leg has been. Look, look, look. <laughs> hey, Geneva girl. Hey, Geneva. <laughs> uh, girl, why are your leg hurting? She said, my leg has been hurting really bad. So I'm trying to sit on my little stool when I can. What happened? Did you fall down? Hey, do okay so here's some little just do bob earrings not do bob earrings yeah do bobs and then uh, girl, i make up words and then <laughs> it comes with she said clearly and then it comes with this necklace now the necklace it's just like total costume it's 31 yeah. inches silver with the silver ring and the gray um mm -hmm. little light i mean they're they've got to be like acrylic or acrylic, something yeah. because they're really really light and it comes with the earrings so i was thinking the whole set wouldn't be more than six or seven dollars i would say seven okay seven. let's go to seven we've already conjured up geneva so i say six she's here now <laughs> Freaking now she's gonna be like okay the new number is seven <laughs> no i think it's the muscles around my hip. I don't know, but it hurts when I stand or walk, girl. Well, then you need to stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I'll send you some exercises. All right. <clears throat> I know. You're like my mom. Shut up. Hey, Jane. How are okay. you? My mom's like, leave me alone. Stop telling me what to do. Okay, then sit there and be, be tight. I don't know what to tell you. Not be tight. Yeah, her because if your hamstrings and your hip flexors get tight, then your back shortens up, and then your hip, your hips, your back, and your knees all hurt. So you got to stretch it out. Okay, it's a two-inch gold tone, and look how pretty this multicolored bluish purple. It's a snap bracelet. Oh, it's like enamel. It's like an enamel snap. Yeah, it's enamel. Look how pretty that is. I love that color. The coloring's in there. It's got the blue and the blue purple and the purple purple. Not the That's blue pretty. purple and purple purple. Purple purple. So I just think those are so, so there's no make or mark on this. But I think that's really pretty. Yeah, Angel goes, yeah, basically all that. Yeah. Do some stretches. So, say, all right, Dolores. Uh, 10 to 12 on that. Let's do 10 on that one. I'm not even using the same color marker. Oh, rude. Yeah. I know, right? Trash. Okay. <clears throat> this one is pretty. And no, it does not glow. I've already checked yeah. because I loved the colors in it. So, it's like a brass brass gold or maybe they call that antique gold antique, i don't yeah. really know because <clears throat> it looks brassy to me but look how beautiful that is oh cool yeah it's like an antique gold. oh that's cool yeah so like an it's antique very gold statement piece yeah and did you see karen with that necklace on that she got from me uh karen yes. k um in yes. her instagram that thing looks so so good, good. on her yeah so colors now i couldn't have put, pulled it off i don't I, it just doesn't work with for me but i like this because 
it's got like pink and the the green and then the faux pearl right here these are all acrylic and they're jointed um but look how pretty that is very good for the spring yeah i'll say 14 for that <clears throat> 18 inches it's yeah. eight i think it's 18 with extension i don't remember if it if that was before or after 18 inches what'd you say 14. sorry i forgot i wasn't listening I was looking well she down. might rather be sitting home oh but she can use yeah. the heat pad after um <laughs> and any reason to sit home kathy <laughs> i try to think of one every sunday it just doesn't work <laughs> So it's just like, oh, I can't go in. My cats are meowing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going through these fast. All right. So here is a really fun one. It's got the twist clasp. Oh, and yeah. then it's got some shells. How cute is this for vacay? Yeah, very beachy. Yeah, very beachy. Oh, I got a cramp in my, my hand. Um, I know it did look so good on Karen. Look at the, the little shell that they have on there. And this is like a little sponge. This part right here. Oh. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. like a sponge. But I thought that was really cute. Now, this is 17 inches. Will it go around my country neck? Yeah. Because I lost weight. That's why. <laughs> but look how cute that is. With like, you know, like with something, if you're going on vacation or if you have like a little sundress or a beach dress or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah this is really cute but this these are all shells and then it's got that little twist i always wondered why they put the twist ones i'm not going to do it back all right dolores and it's got the little gold bead spacers in between what do you I'll think about that one? 10. okay yeah the daisy style is cute that's a good word to use with that daisy style we haven't done this in a long time. I feel like we have not we've not done any jewelry. I haven't need, I don't even know. I've only brought a couple of pieces even to sales. Because I forget that it's sitting over there. Okay, I do think that I've either had this same style or I have a necklace to go with this. So these are two inch black, clear, and gray rhinestone pierced earrings. Oh, those are they're, That's a huge they're all idea. like an antique silver back. I feel like we've had something like this. I know I have a style like this in multicolored. Oh, um, but it's got like some of the mirrored beads here, grayish rhinestones, white, black. Mm. Um, these are a post earring, and then it's got like the not as dark as gunmetal, but kind of gunmetal. I like the antique silvery. Yeah. Um, those are, aren't those pretty? Like for a, a evening wear. Again, uh, little black dress. Yeah. Uh, I see. I thought they looked like teacups. Teacup. But when you see it all together from a distance, yeah, it looked like a teacup. But I'd say uh, eight. She said, why do I see UFOs? Yeah, I think I may have a necklace like that, Kathy. I, I'm going to have to look because when I saw those, I was trying to write down, um, trying to like measure them and stuff for Dolores so we could move faster. But um, I think it was a necklace. All right. These did not glow. This did not glow either, but I wasn't sure. This is a bead. It's a, a glass green bead. This is 15 inches. None of this glows. Looks like jadeite. But it's not as solid color as jadeite. Can it be a jadeite bead if it like, is? Like an opaque jade? Yeah. Yeah. Or like a cloudy jadeite? Sure. Yeah. It's not It's not solid like the jadeite dishes or anything. You can actually kind of, you can see well, through it. And it stone's different, yeah, than what you're seeing in like jadeite glass. Yeah, and I mean, it does have some, you can't see it, but see that black that's in there? Uh -huh. Right yeah. there. So, and then these are glass little green and clear beads. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was really pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. 
So this is a 15 inch. Would you call those jadeite? I would. I don't know. I wish Geneva would know. I, they look like jadeite to me. Y'all, would you call the, let us know in the chat if you would call these jadeite glass beads. No, um, jadeite would be just, they'd be a gemstone. I, I just don't know if they would be gem. I mean, maybe, because I don't know, jadeite does have variations. Test them for jade. I don't know how to test. Hey, hey Monica. Monica. I don't know um, how to test the so jade can be dark green. Jadeite is like a lighter, like kind of like what you have in your hand there. Um, I think it's jadeite. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, but yeah. I think it looks like gemstones to me. Okay. Um, so I put 12 to 14 on that. Okay, we'll put 12 on that. I like the color. I like the color. Monica, I wanted to go with you today. I saw your um, post and she was getting on, was it the train to go shopping? I was like, mm -hmm. take me with you. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go. All right. So this one um, is like the, again, brass. It looks brass gold to me, but I don't know what that color would be. And this one is 18 inches at full extension. Um, and it's got like a spiral and a flower. I don't know. It's like a little. Oh, yeah. It's like a, yeah, like a spiral. Like, yeah, like a little spirally thing. Spiral. And, and then, but it's like that brassy color. It's not gold. I wouldn't call that gold at all. Yeah. So, and this, this is some of the, I was just going to put like five or six dollars on that. It was the yeah. train. Um, because I'm going to be doing a, um, a low start jewelry sale just to clear out some of the stuff. Now this one, I like, I like this one a lot. Um, <clears throat> I need to start doing some more jewelry sales. I just have neglected the little jewelry. It probably feels so sad. This is the kind of necklace that I like. So this is, she wrote me a note that said it was 14 karat gold filled. Like always, I bought some brooches. I can't resist. I I'm right you. there with you. <laughs> I'm hoping to find some when I go visit. Okay, so see this thin little chain? Mm -hmm. And then look at all of these nice oh, um, natural colored little glass beads with the little crescent moon. Mm -hmm. But I really like that. So it's pink and green and then dark and then a little bit more green. There's like a bluish, all those earth tones. But see, I like yeah. that because the crescent moon is in my flag from home. But this is kind of like earth all the things but i like that and it's a thin little chain i like the thin i know i like it too right geneva it's got our little crescent moon in there so dolores it's not it's not but 18 inches and it's that thin so i didn't i mean i just think it's cute uh, i'd say 14. okay i don't know if they're i think they're glass yeah, they're glass. Yeah, they're glass. Yeah. All right, we'll do 12. Geneva wants it. How yes, much? Geneva wants it. 12. 12. All right, Geneva, you're going to be donating 12 lunches for lunches of love with your Yay. little. So it's going to be $12 to Geneva. Now, Geneva, you want me to go ahead and send it or you want me to wait until the weekend when after everything else? It, I can do either way. You tell me. All right. Two pieces that are going to go in the um, craft jewelry lot. And I would have sold this, but I don't have, um, I don't have any rhinestones, Dolores. It's oh, yeah. a little barrette. Oh, but yeah. It's missing two of the rhinestone. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's an older one. Yeah. It's like a grippy mm -hmm. one. So I'm going to put that. And I'm also, there was only one of these 
that I found so far. And it's like a green, uh, rhinestone, green and clear rhinestone clip earring. Uh huh. But I also think that you could use this just like, you know, like if you yeah, put it on could. a lapel through the through buttonhole button, of the lapel. Button hole. Yeah. Yeah. Even like on a little dress, even if you just like if you had a little white dress and you put it right there on like the the neckline, you know, that's mm -hmm. cute. Only one. It would be kind of like a brooch, but um, that would be that's really pretty. So I'm going to put those to the side. Um, I wear a brooch on every coat, but also on my scarves and purses and hats. Yeah, so cute. All right, these are also, Lord, we're zooming through this. These are just some, um, and I don't even know. I think they need to be cleaned up. I think that's why I'm kind of iffy about them. I do like the style. Very, again, like a Moroccan. They look like a tile. Um, yes, okay. Can yeah, you do a Thursday? Right. Can you do a Thursday or you need a Sunday? Because Sundays you're working. I see that. I, I'm watching you work right now. Oh, well, kind of. All right. Yeah, I can do. I got Thursdays in May. Um, so look at this. Mm. Look, I love this. They look like tiles to me. You know, those little yeah. tiles. They're like a filigree. Oh, my hand's getting a cramping. Um, but aren't I like these. I mean, I want to wash them, but I think those are pretty. I can do mm. Thursdays. Okay. In May. Well, yeah, because. I think I'm, I think I have something. Or the 25th, um, Angela, 25th of April. April. 25th of April, if you want to do it, then it'd be at 4.30 p.m. Central, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. So I like these. Now, do I, I, I want to, I want to clean them. And if they clean up, that's great. If they don't clean up, Dolores, I might want to just paint them. <laughs> I mean, you could, yeah. If they don't clean up. So those were some other ones that I had <laughs> in there. I thought those were cute. We are flying through this stuff. So, Angela, if you can do the 25th of April, we'll do 25th of April. If not, it would be May the 2nd. All right. I like this one, too. It's a Y necklace. It's um, a 14 inch and it's got, um, again, I don't even know what color you would call this because it's not, it, it doesn't have gold, silver. That's why I called it brass based on the clasp right there, oh, like yeah. a brass. Okay. Color. And then it connects in the front. So it's a Y necklace and it, it would be a choker because it's only 14. Uh, it's only 14 inches, so it would be like a real choker. But it has okay. little tiny bluish clear beads in that. Say about eight. Yeah. Okay, Angela says that works. What works, Angela? The 25th of April? Don't we have a drop sale with Rachel? Is that the drop sale that you're talking about? Yeah. We have a drop sale with with rachel of um that we're doing me and angela so i got a whole bunch of stuff coming up y'all okay let me see i'll be I right back very much. Gotta, i'll be right back i gotta take my okay. earbuds out to die <laughs> oh okay here's one that i probably am going to put in um like a package topper y'all this is just some acrylic beads there's no glass beads in this but for the fall Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to keep these. I'm starting to put a little bit of this um, lightweight jewelry, smaller jewelry in um, as package toppers. So I'm going to use that as a package topper. Um, then there is, let me just show you these. All right, Angela, I'm putting you down. Jewelry sale. Jewelry with Angela. Got it. On the 25th of April, y'all, mark your calendars. Angela and I will be doing a jewelry sale. I'll have a lot of choices. I might have some giveaways because I got plenty to give away. This is going to be, I'm starting to make another big um, 
Oh my gosh, somebody sent you a 17 pound box. Yeah, let's move. Let's do, let's do it. Let's move some stuff. Okay, this is all stuff that I'm going to start a new small jewelry bag, um, like a mystery bag. I'm just going to do it. I've thought about doing it in a regular Ziploc um, or I'll do gallon because if I, you know, I'm as many pieces as I can get in. But I have these purple hearts. Those are just some like little mermaid um, scales. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, I also have a um, bracelet that has these two little silver and black acrylic pieces right there. Um, I also have a, if you know of anybody that's a surfer, a catch the wave. I think to me that's a surfboard because it's got the little pieces on the back. So a little surfboard. Um, some shipping only pieces too. Oh, okay. Um, and then um, I also have oh my gosh, this one just says friends. This one just says friends. So I'm creating some more. Um, and then this one I like. It's a little choker style, but it's just got the single little diamond in there. Mm, that's cute. So I'm starting to make little bags, like a little bag like this. Um, but I'm going to keep going through my older stuff, stuff that hasn't sold. And I'll be making, um, I'll probably have one at this sale with Angela. I will make a goodie bag now they will not be craft jewelry it will be all real jewelry that is not broken not missing anything um and dolores i only have like bye, bye. hope you feel better angela mm -hmm. um and this is another one that might go in that um dolores because it's just like a little chain and then it's got these little rings just, yeah rings on it but they but they come off because if you open if you open the clasp it, it will come off. And they're all different textures and some's got some speckling and all that. So that's another one that I would probably put in yeah. my, it'll be that kind of stuff. Um, so stuff that would be uh, a dollar or less. Um, and then I would put it all in a big one and then you would get multiple pieces. Cause if you're selling on whatnot or something like that, then you definitely could use it um, or if you want to use it for craft. All right. I only have one more piece picked out over here. Okay. We did good. We went fast. You nailed it. We nailed it. I was ready today, Dolores. But this is like the creme de la creme. So it is a two and a half inch gold tone ornate bracelet. Wow. With green acrylic rhinestones and uh, faceted um, acrylic, no, green rhinestones and green uh, acrylic beads. And then it goes down into a ring. And they wow. call this um, like, uh, what do they call that? Hold on. Rhinestones. They call it a chain slave. Okay. Bracelet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's what it's called. Yeah. But it goes on like your finger like this. Yeah, that's cool. And they have a whole bunch of them. Um, I saw a whole bunch of them on like Etsy and all that. But wow. I did not see these. The ones that I normally see is, um, now this is acrylic. And the green is acrylic, but the rhinestones are glass. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is a metal. This is white or like silver tone metal. But then look at all of the ornate detail. And this is a snap bracelet. Yeah. Um, and then it comes down like this and you just wear it. So we see this a lot in Houston because yeah. we have a large Middle Eastern population. Um, and this is like their... Um, so they just had Eid. I think it was Eid, which is the last day of uh, Ramadan. We just came through. We just celebrated Ramadan. Um, and then a lot of the women 
uh, when they came to pick up their kids for Eve, yeah. they go to festival. Um, they had those those kids were having a ball at festival. They they were so excited about that. Um, but I thought this one was pretty neat. So now all of the rings are they're not like yeah, kind of Bollywood style. But all of the rings, it's all costume. But now the real expensive ones have actual real diamonds and stuff. And gold, yeah. And gold, yeah. So you see this striation in that, and then That's these awesome. are all glass, little rhinestones. Um, but it's just the detail, and nothing is missing. Um, but it's a snap bracelet. Uh huh. Really, really good. So I went ahead and priced this one. Lowest end that I found just for the metal ones, not like this. Lowest end that I found um, and then went a little bit lower. I priced this set at 25. Yeah, it's it's a good piece. The other sets are um, 30 to 40 if they have any color. Regular are going to regular are about 25. So I just did 25, but none of the none of the pieces are missing from that. I just think that is so, so pretty. That is pretty. This is metal right there. And then it's a, it's a snap bracelet. Now, this part is adjustable. And that's what I'm seeing is they make it like this or they make it where they roll on. They have the elastic pieces on there. But how pretty is that? I'm going to see if it's on my right hand. Hopefully, got to get it just right. I should have worn this for Eid. Because the girls love when I wear the jewelry. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, it is. A, it is. We just celebrated that, and the kids were all were going. They were. They all came for a little bit to school, but then they were picked up by eight or eight thirty because they had celebration that was started. And they were all decked out, and they said they were going to give me some henna. They were going to have some leftover henna. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. Um, and they were, it was just the rub on kind, but they all do the real henna. Yeah. But I just thought that was super pretty. It is pretty. I think it's a definitely a, a conversation piece. If you wear this out, you know, yeah. something, then somebody's definitely going to um, see it because it is so, so pretty. But yeah, I went ahead and um, priced this one at 25 based on what i saw so we did pretty good y'all beth you have dates for your trip already i am working on that we are solidifying that this week um i'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of and get that nailed down i have some tentative dates that i would what i do with geneva's necklace um she didn't hear that i it's here oh it's here over here no worries it's over here um that I have some tentative dates picked out, um, but I want to uh, never wear it at the left side. Okay, so I would always wear it on the right. You would always wear it on the right, correct? Is that any jewelry or henna? I didn't hear anything. Good. Is that henna or any jewelry, Heidi? Um, Heidi's my my um muslim aficionado he's got the inside story <laughs> um so i'm gonna nail down the dates and look at things this week i tentative dates were like around the 5th through the 14th but it's really going to depend on when the airlines are available left is the unclean hand correct um i just didn't know if that was henna jewelry oh jewelry okay because i was like i saw henna on both hands um got it got it thanks for that Heidi um but yeah I'm super excited I'm literally gonna I'm literally bringing Cheetos and Little Debbie's in the suitcases actually it's gonna be a suitcase inside of a suitcase and mm -hmm. we're gonna fill those up with Little Debbie's up to the the 23 kilograms or whatever it is and then the pound which is about 50 pounds yeah. and then um then on the way back, it'll be boom. I hope. I hope. It will. Yeah. I'm hoping that, you know, because you got to count for the bubble wrap and the paper. And normally I wrap all my stuff in clothes, but I'm only taking three outfits. Dolores is just going to have to wash my clothes. 
I, I can manage that. Yeah. It won't, I mean, and you said layer, right, Dolores? Yeah. So that'll be easy. I'm thinking a lot of leggings. Yeah. <laughs> And my little, I will bring my boots and my tennis shoes or whatever, and then I'll bring something to wear home so I won't burn up as I re-enter in June to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> like totally combust. So, but that was really, really um, fun. I haven't done that with you in a long time. I know, right? And and since then, now, um, now Angel and I are going to have a little jewelry sale. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Lots, lots going on. So, Dolores, what do you have coming up this week? I have a video releasing Wednesday. I have a, I'm part of the Huckster Hop sale on Thursday, which is a drop sale, and then Friday is Double D Live Chat on Daniel's channel. Yeah, so you're busy this week. I'm busy this week. Yeah. Along fitting everything else in. Yeah. And um, for me, I have a, two, a video. It's going to be part two of the auction hall that is dropping on Tuesday morning. And then that evening, I'm going to be on Cindy Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Um, I'm, I'm, it's our monthly sale. So I'm going to be on her channel. Thursday, I'm kicking off the drop sale hop with that's hosted by Trusty Huckster. And then um, I'm a guest on Helen's channel, New England Thrifter, next Sunday. That'll be fun. So um, that'll be fun because they they have a lot of fun. Miss Helen and them, they're on now. So um, if you're going back and forth, thank you so much. And if you came back to watch the replay, thank you so much. Make sure to give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching, make sure to subscribe to Dolores's channel. Ah, um, so that uh, we can get her to a thousand. All the links for Lunches of Love and Dolores are below. So make sure that you check those out. And I think that's about it. I want to say thank you to everybody who came in and helped us with the jewelry today. Um, and look for some upcoming jewelry sales because it's summertime. It's time to like get your bling on. So we're going to have some. And then you can prepare for the upcoming school year. Later, Gator, um, LaDonna says. So thanks so much for watching, y'all. And we will see you next time. Y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you.